Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a Dollar Tree bee crate. So I grabbed one of these crates from Dollar Tree, some buffalo check ribbon, some greenery. I got this stencil at Hobby Lobby um, last year, some black paint, white paint, and some antique gold, and little pouncers. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the crate all white. Next, I'm going to line up the hive stencil along the side, and I ended up doing all four sides and the top. So this is the top. The crate is going to be upside down, so the opening is going to be at the bottom. And you're just going to use your pouncer and a very, very light amount of paint and just pounce it onto your stencil until you have the whole box covered. And I did this on all of the sides of the box. On the front side of the box, now remember again, the box is going to be upside down. I put the bee design. And I used just some black acrylic paint for that and the pouncer. Again, light amounts of paint, get most of the paint off, and then pounce your design on. Did the bee on both sides of the crate and the hive all over the entire crate. Next, I took the buffalo check ribbon and I set the box on top of it and I'm going to pull it up over the top of the box and I'm going to tie it in a knot and I'm doing this to cover the handles to the box, crate, whatever we're calling it. And I just tied it in a knot at the top. And then I just cut it down to size. Now that I have all the ribbon on, I'm just going to slide my two pieces of greenery, which I just used two pieces of the boxwood pick that I had, and I just slid it underneath the ribbon and hot glued it into place. And that's it. How adorable is this? Looks super cute on your tiered tray. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make one, and please don't forget to spread the chaos.